Leaving a narcissistic partner can be the most difficult and challenging experience that you will ever have. As I discussed in my last video last week, this is primarily caused because of the trauma bond. But there can also be many nightmarish logistical issues for people who are leaving a narcissist, especially if you have children or you share a business or other important assets together. So it's common for people who leave narcissists to feel like they are the crazy ones in the relationship. This phenomenon is known as gaslighting, which I already have other videos that describe what this feels like and what it looks like. But this is basically a tactic that's used by narcissists to manipulate their partners into doubting their own perceptions and their reality. So I want to explore in this video the reasons why people feel like they're the crazy ones when they leave a narcissist. One reason why people feel like this is because the narcissist has been so successful in convincing them that their perceptions and their feelings are invalid. Narcissists often use gaslighting to manipulate their partners into believing that they are the problem in the relationship. And they will use tactics such as denying their partner's reality or blaming their partner for their own faults and for manipulating their partner's emotions in the situation. So over time, these tactics compound, and this erodes the victim's sense of self-worth, and it leads them to question their own perceptions and feelings, and then this leads to a loss of self-confidence and a lack of trust in their own thoughts and their feelings. Another way that narcissists can erode your sense of self-worth is through emotional manipulation. So narcissists will often use guilt, shame, and blame to manipulate their partners into doing what they ultimately want them to do they will make the other person feel responsible for their emotions or their needs, even when this is not the case. They will also use your vulnerabilities and your insecurities to control and manipulate you. And this further leads to a loss of self-esteem and a sense of worthlessness. And as you feel like you can never do enough to please the narcissist, it makes you want to try every other thing that you can think of, which further leads to more evidence that you can never do enough. You are not enough to please the narcissist. The human brain is incredible. It has incredible recall capability. So every time the narcissist brings up your insecurities or your perception of reality, you're able to recall past events that give credence or credibility to the claim that the narcissist is making to you. So every time the narcissist tells you nobody likes you, you're recalling a time in second grade when nobody wanted to choose you to be on their team for kickball, or you're remembering the time in high school when you had no place to sit at lunch because nobody wanted you to sit with them or whatever the case may be for you specifically. And these are, of course, just small examples, but your brain can add up very quickly all the evidence to support what the narcissist is saying to you. And so then you start to not only believe the narcissist, but you start engaging with their claims and your brain starts to provide you evidence to support what the narcissist is saying about you. Narcissists also erode the victim's sense of self-worth through unpredictable and chaotic behavior. Narcissists create drama and chaos in their relationships by starting arguments, by making sudden demands, by changing their behavior without warning. And this can leave their partner feeling very overwhelmed and confused, and they struggle to make sense of the constantly changing dynamics of the relationship. And especially if there's children involved, the victim in this situation will try to do everything that they can to create a sense of calm, a sense of peace for the children. Trying to balance or manage or juggle these dynamics creates a loss in the victim's self-confidence and a lack of trust in their own perceptions and their own feelings. So these are just some of the tactics that are used by a narcissist that have huge impacts on their partner's sense of self-worth and their ability to trust their own perceptions and feelings. Gaslighting, emotional manipulation, chaotic behavior, all of these things lead to a loss of self-esteem, confidence, and mental well-being, especially the longer that you're in this type of environment. 
And for this reason, it's important for people who are in relationships with narcissists to recognize these tactics as soon as they see them and start researching what what's happening. Because by understanding the ways in which the narcissists are eroding your sense of self-worth, we can work to not only stop it from happening, but to prevent this type of abuse from occurring in the future. Again, narcissists will use tactics such as lying, cheating, manipulation, triangulation to create more drama and chaos in the relationship. This also can leave you feeling overwhelmed and confused. You want to make sense of what is happening. You think that the A and B must equal C. So you are constantly looking for the right qualifiers to make this situation make sense. Triangulation occurs when a narcissist involves a third party in your relationship. And usually this third party is used to either create a sense of competition or jealousy. So either the narcissist will say, well, we agree. What's wrong with you? A sense of competition. It's you and it's it's you against the narcissist and this other person or a sense of jealousy, right? The third party can be a friend, a family member, another romantic partner, a person at work. By involving somebody else, the narcissist creates this sense of further chaos and confusion in the relationship. Well, now there's two people telling me the story, right? So the victim feels further that they are now not only doubting their reality, but also competing with this third party. And again, this leads to feelings of inadequacy. Narcissists will also use extreme coercive control, and it is important that you understand when the narcissist does not allow you to control your finances, your social life, and even your own thoughts and beliefs, the narcissist is using this to maintain coercive control. You will feel like you are walking on eggshells constantly, that you are trying to please the narcissist constantly, but nothing is working. And again, confusion, disorientation, not sure what is right. You're looking for somebody to rely on, and unfortunately, the only person in your life for you to do that with is the narcissist. Typically, by the time the victim is ready to leave the narcissist, they may have been so manipulated and so gaslit that they feel like they cannot even trust their own thoughts and feelings. You may have been isolated from friends and family, and this leaves you further alone and confused. So now you're emotionally and mentally exhausted from the constant chaos and manipulation. You're feeling like you're crazy and worse yet that nobody can be trusted. You're suspicious of everybody. And this is exactly why it is so important that people who are leaving a narcissist get professional help from people who understand narcissism and its effects on the victim specifically. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but if you're having issues with your eyes, you go to see an ophthalmologist. You don't see an ENT for that. If you have a compound fracture, you go and see a specialist who can repair that specific type of break in your body. And yet here we are, we're just out, out here seeing random versions of counselors and therapists thinking that letters after somebody's name make them qualified to treat or help the issue that we are specifically having. having, And that's just simply not the case. It's not true. So if you are done looking and you are truly ready to break the trauma bond with a narcissist once and for all and never allow yourself to form that type of toxic bond with somebody again, then I want you to text the word detox and your first name to 512-677-9322 Or if you're outside of the U.S., I want you to send me an email with that same information to info at themanifoldmind.com and see if you qualify to join my Narcissistic Detox Intensive. My program is the only one of its kind, and it guarantees, a money-back guarantee, guarantees you to break the trauma bond with a narcissist and to start living authentically, not just with a narcissist, but with the world in general. And especially if you are in court or you are about to be in court with a narcissist, I highly recommend that you join. So many mistakes are made unnecessarily by people who are involved in the court system with the narcissist because they think they are entering the justice system and not a legal system. All of that manipulation that I just talked about in this video, the narcissist knows how to use that in a legal manner. So to wrap up this section on how narcissists use chaos to further harass their victims, even when they are not physically together, it's important that you understand the narcissist will use gaslighting, triangulation, manipulation, coercive control to create confusion and disorientation in his or her victims. When people leave a narcissist, the chaos that the narcissist has created makes the individual 
who's leaving the situation feel like they are the crazy ones. You need to recognize the manipulative and abusive behavior of narcissists and seek help from a professional. Your family and friends are there to support you as a person, but they are not doctors. They are not specialists. You need to have a specialist help you heal and rebuild your sense of self-worth, sanity, and identity. It's important that you have tools so that you know how to block off the narcissist blame towards you, telling you that you are not doing enough, that they're the reason why the relationship is failing, that um, you're responsible for the narcissist behavior, that you need to work harder, that if you just figured out how to do something a little bit better or worked a little bit harder, that things would be able to be worked out. In conclusion, I just want you to know that leaving a narcissist is a difficult physical but also emotional experience, and it's not uncommon for people to feel like they are the crazy ones in the relationship. However, it's of equal importance that you understand that there, that there is help and that there is life after narcissism. If you need more information to help you form a clearer understanding of what a trauma bond is, then I want you to check out this video next in which I discuss just that.